comes in. We've come through the storm. Who knows what other hazards lie ahead? As many of us wonder about that, Your Majesty. The men heard wild rumors in Narrowhaven. Oh, yes. The world is flat. And if we sail far enough eastwards, we'll tip over the edge. We'll be caught forever in the seas that swell perpetually around the rim of the world. Or be consumed, the lot of us, by the magic fire that everlastingly burns the eastern sea. But past all hazards, there is Aslan's country, beyond the end of the world. Well, well, we can't get there. Who says so? Reapy Chief, save your strength to fight enemies, not friends. What is it, Captain? The wind. The wind has dropped away. We should jolly well hope so after that storm. Yes, ma'am. Two of them are like this. They stove in in the storm. We've almost no water left, sire. Food? Most of it ruined. We've rations enough for perhaps two days. I'm sure we'll find land soon. With oodles of fresh food and water. Come off it, Lucy. We will find land, won't we, Captain? I don't know, ma'am. I've known ships to be lost for weeks. And we've brewed them water for two days. This must be the worst organised expedition ever. Sit it slowly, men. Make it last. Common sailors, you're supposed to be king and queen. Why don't you get your ration first? I would have thought that that was obvious. They have to work harder than us and need to keep their strength up. Rubbish. Caspian doesn't work them hard enough. This whole ship should be repaired by now. That's not possible, young fella. Until we strike land. We need new timbers. They're bone idle. Shut up, worm. They're starved and they only get two cups of water a day. But I have told Caspian it is common knowledge that perspiration cools people down. So the men would need less water if they worked harder. And there'd be more the more for us, you mean? That is disgusting, Eustace, even for you. Will you look at the state the men are in? He's been nagging for days. Ought to be clapped in irons. Please, Reby Chief. Lucy. Boys. Eustace, get off me, you hope. Me? Not true, my lord. Nonsense, Eustace. Come on now, drink it. You're cheating me of my proper ration. I'd be ill. I should get You're more. You're not ill now. Everyone gets the same now. Move along.
you think you're doing? Getting a breath of fresh air. What's it to do with you? Why the mug? I, I, I was Thief! Just... Thief! Wake up, oh, everyone! To the cast! To the cast! Little beast! On guard! What's happening here? Nothing! Nothing but outright theft of our precious water, sire. Eustace! That's awful! Shame on you, lad. Anyway, what was that thing doing prowling around the decks at night? Well, everybody knows why, squat. The mast being too small for deck duty by day has been told to guard the cask at night. Well, masters, what are we to do with this thief? I'd give him the lash. Eustace, apologise. Apologise to us all, the men included. I most certainly will not. Just us. I'm sorry. do for now. But next time anyone is found stealing the water, it will mean two dozen of the best. Eustace, I know how you suffer, but everyone else is feeling just as thirsty. And we must all make the best of it. Back to bed, men. It's all over. We have no charts for these seas. We need timber for a new spar site. Right, Captain, I'll put some men on the third way. Lads! Timber for a new spar. Them? Aaron? Oh dear. I'm so weak. I can't possibly do any work. You're exactly as weak or as strong as any of us. Now get to it. Go and get some food for it. Everything all right, Reynold? Hey, Lucy, could you get some wood for a fire, please? I'm not staying here. First day ashore for weeks, and they expect me to work like a common seaman. A bit of exploring will do me good. I'll rejoin them when they finish their day's work. Mustn't lose my way, though. The boat in the beach can only be a few minutes' walk away. Well, that would happen. Can't see a thing. Don't talk to yourself. It's the first time you've... Terrible. So quiet. Quietest place I've ever been in. I'd better get back. There's a little sense of time, too. Been here two minutes or two hours. What if that dratty Caspian and the others go aboard and sail off without me? They all hate me. They're just as likely to leave me here to the cannibals and wild beasts. Well, they're not walking out on me. I think this is the way. Where's that blighter, Eustace? Oh, I've forgotten all about him. If I know Eustace, he's found some place to dodge work all day. And we'll be back as soon as his nostrils twitch to the smell of cooking. 
I hope so. I'd hate him to be lost. Where's the sea? Where am I? Wish I'd never come. This is a nice place. It sounds as if there's something down there. Something like a... A dragon? Doesn't seem to have seen me. What's wrong with it? Bet that it's some trick to lure me down. Well, there's no smoke coming from it. It doesn't seem to be moving. Rich, I'm rich. Diamonds, rubies, and pearls. And the others aren't going to get any of it. Eustace! Eustace! Oh, confound the little worm. Let me try with this. Why did he have to slink off like that? Yes, I've just about had enough of him. But we must do something. He may have got lost or fallen in a hole or been captured by savages. Aye, ma'am. Or killed by wild beasts. Good rinse if he has. Master Rince, you never spoke a word that became you less. This fellow is no friend of mine, but he is of the Queen's blood. And it concerns our honour to find him and to avenge him if he is dead. Of course we'll find him tomorrow, if we can. Ooh, that bracelet's tight. What's that? Another dragon! Oh, well, a fool I've been. The brute had a mate and it's lying right beside me. Maybe if I move very carefully away from it. dangerous than we thought. Courage, comrades. Those brutes can fly, Your Majesty. We'd better stick together and get back to the camp. So, find a dragon. Good. Now I can get even with Caspian and Edmund. Except, they're better than nothing. And I have a feeling it's going to be a pretty lonely life here as a dragon, all on my own. Oh dear.
I should try to get back to them. But what a time. Wow! I can fly! I can fly! Danger. It's landed on the beach. Where? Between us and the ship. Our arrows will be useless against dragons, and they're not at all afraid of fire. Uh, with your majesty's leave. No, Reaper Chief, you are not to attempt single combat with it. What do we do, sire? Keep close watch, and in the morning go down to the beach and give it battle. Aye. Well, who will give battle? As many of us as it takes. We have to kill that beast. Eyes. Why, it's crying! Pay no heed to that, ma'am. That's what the crocodiles do. Get you off your guard. It's wagging its head, as if it meant to say no. You don't think it can understand what we're saying? Dragon! Can you understand speech? Can you speak? Then it is idle to ask you your business. But if you swear friendship with us, raise your left foreleg. Brilliant, look at that. There's a device upon the gold. That I've seen before. Of course you have. It's the mark of a great Narnian family. This is the arm ring which belonged to the missing Lord Octesian. Villain! Have you devoured a Narnian lord? Perhaps this is the Lord Octesian, turned into a dragon under an enchantment. Are you the Lord Octesian? Are you some enchanted? Someone human put under a spell? Eustace! Poor Eustace. You can't even tell us how it happened. Well, never mind. We'll all stand by you. And I'm sure there must be some way of disenchanting you. All the same, what are we to do with it? It could be of great practical use. Here, dragon! Uh, Eustace, I've got a suggestion for you. As you can fly all over the island, you can do a great number of 
jobs for us. <laughs> We're nearly ready to sail away, so we have to face it. What are we to do with him? We can't take him with us. He'd never fit below deck. Could he stay on deck? Not in rough weather. Couldn't he keep up by flying? However we did it, there's still one problem. How are we going to feed him? Well, we can't just leave him behind, can we? quiet lion with piercing eyes. He's seen Aslan. The one you always talk about? Oh yes, he's seen Aslan. Anyway, it is good to be back with you. Oh, and I brought the bracelet to prove it. We have found our second lord too late. The Lord Octesian must have perished on this island. Let us leave this here for all time with him. Two minutes ago. On deck, shipmates, I smell danger! 